I decided to to make a network. Oh. I'm going to tell you just just a little bit about the network of Ellen Wood. I mean, we know, right? We know that we have the Georgia Rico case and yes. Sidney Powell has been yes. charged, right? Yeah. We know that there was planning at Tamatley. Yes. Uh, Ellen Wood's property. Yes. Yeah, uh, who else was at Tamatley? Why, that would be Michael Flynn. Yes. I, have pictures, I have pictures of Mike Flynn cutting the turkey at Thanksgiving. Uh, in 2020, Thanksgiving was a real interesting time in 2020. Interesting. And remember, remember this little box right here. This is lying to the FBI case in what was that, 2016, 2017, something like that. Yeah. So there, there's those connections amongst those three, right? Yeah. And then uh, there's another person in, in the Georgia Rico case who's involved, and that's Mr. Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. But Ellen Wood and Rudy Giuliani aren't just connected through the Georgia Rico case. No, they have another connection, a fellow named John M. Pierce. Mm, right? Yeah. John oh, yeah. M. Pierce. You don't like John he works, Pierce. I that. He, he worked with Ellen Wood on the, the Rittenhouse uh, fundraiser over here, the Give, Send, Go fundraiser, right? That would be a also, high fives uh, introduction to all of this fuckery. Yeah. And then he also did work for Rudy Giuliani at Pierce Bainbridge. All uh -huh. right. So that's that's just kind of a, a brief overview of some of the coup participants, right? Data, data points. Data points. Now, I want to oh. give you a little bit of history, though. Oh, boy. If you go wow. back. And now, if you go. A little history from High Fidelity. A little history. If you go back to 2015. Theater. <laughs> Elvin Wood appeared in a case against Joseph Lonsdale. Yeah. Joseph Lonsdale is a very rich billionaire. Um, he started a university down in Austin. He's anti-woke. He's also giving Ron DeSantis a bunch of money. So that's pretty uh, interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah. And then if you fast forward to 2019, Ellen Wood appears against Elon Musk in the Unsworth v. Musk. Uh, hmm. the Ed Cave Guy case, if you'll remember. Uh, can right? you stop for a second? Because are you trying to suggest that Ellen Wood could have been controlled opposition there somehow? Maybe. Okay. It just Continue. seems odd. Continue. Because you can't really mention Joe Lonsdale and Elon Musk without mentioning... Uh, oh, I froze up. Oh, Peter no. Thiel. I was waiting for that Peter Thiel moment. Oh, my God. You screwed that up, yeah. man. You yeah. needed that no, no, no. You needed to deal right no. before this. <laughs> yeah, I should have put it in. All right, you're right. Anyway. That's all right. That's all right. This is very. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Pretty good. Pretty well, good. Thing. I like that. that I'll, I'll just throw it in randomly. Anyway, so uh, Peter Thiel, as we all know, uh, funded MAGA 3X, which was, you know, General Flynn's. Uh, political committee thing at the 2016 RNC, right? And uh, there, there's some interesting things here because, you know, Joe, Elon, and Peter all worked at PayPal, right? Not only that, but Peter and Joe, they, they created Palantir. And Ooh. if you know anything about the great hack, yeah. uh, you'll know that Palantir actually helped Cambridge Analytica scrape data from Facebook. Wow. Um, and then you'll also know that Elon Musk and Peter Thiel funded Stripe together. Uh, the reason that matters is because Give, Send, Go uh, used to use PayPal and Stripe, and then PayPal dropped them after I made a bunch of noise. And uh, now they're only using Stripe. And the reason there's that. another person. Uh, well, wait, Stripe, Stripe is also... Jack fucking Dorsey. So if anybody, but, if but AKA anybody, the ball slapper. Uh, before yeah. you move on, um, explain to our audience your animos toward Give Send Go in one sentence. I asked Give Send Go to take down the Written House fundraiser because I don't think you should fundraise off a murder, and they said no. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, continue. I don't like it when I get told no. Anyway. Okay, continue. All right, so this fellow right here in the white, Mr. Sergey Grishin, found out he actually had done business with Mr. John M. Pierce before, 
in a lawsuit uh, known as Grishin v. Sulkis. And uh, I was examining this, you know, August, September of 2020. Uh, eventually, Mother Jones caught on and wrote an article called Escape from the Millionaire, uh, I'm sorry, Escape from the Billionaire Meme Lord. Um, Sergey, uh, well, what's interesting about Sergey is he actually worked with Joe Lonsdale. Initially, it was called SGVC, and then it changed his name to Group 11 VC. So these four fellas down here in this left corner, they all work together. Weird. And what's weird uh, is Sergey Grishin is the billionaire oligarch who stole billions out of the Russian bank in uh, Russia and then came here. And at some point when Hi-Fi was mapping out this particular network, uh, Sergey got Hi-Fi banned off of Twitter the first time uh, with one of those uh, takedown uh, letters. And what's also interesting- a DMCA. And what's also very interesting about that is Sergey. Sergey is now uh, no longer with us because, as a very young man, he died of a strange uh, brain disease of some sort uh, after he went back to uh, Russia. Uh, anyway, so so tie tie this up and let's move on. <coughs> so there's your entire network around Lynn Wood that really needs investigated. That's all. <laughs> As he takes another. <laughs> <hit>. <laughs>